Welcome back to another episode of Penny for Your Thoughts. It's your boy Chuck, and today we back with another sneaker review. In this episode of Penny for Your Thoughts, we're talking about a collaboration between Nike and a couple of up and coming NBA superstars. Nike got together and picked three up and coming NBA superstars and gave them three shoes. They gave De'Aaron Fox an Air Max 1, they gave Jason Tatum an Air Max 97, and they gave Devin Booker an Air Force 1. The one we have here right now is the Devin Booker Air Force 1. But before we get into the shoe, I'm going to need you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you guys can be notified we drop new content to the channel. And also be sure to follow us on our social media accounts on Instagram and on Twitter at P-E-N-N-Y underscore 4YT. That's P-E-N-N-Y underscore 4YT. But I know y'all tired of me talking, so let's get to the shoot. Here you guys go. Devin Booker, Air Force One. Let's get straight into it. As you can see, most of the shoe is sky blue leather. Has great suede going up here on the side panels of the shoe strings. Going up on the tongue, it has the play exclusive, made in Marsh Point, um, shipped to Phoenix and stuff like that on the shoe. On the back of the shoe, on the back panel, it says no sir, with a little silver back here. Um, comes with same color shoe strings. I don't know if this is sky blue or like pascal blue. I think this is more like pascal blue. Um, comes with a little tag on it that says D Book for Devin Booker, man. If y'all don't know who Devin Booker is, he plays for the Phoenix Suns, man. He's basically the best player on the team, trying to lead them to winning again and stuff like that. This is overall just a uh, plain Air Force One that they put together for him. It came out pretty clean, and I think um it's just a plain Air Force One. I think if they were gonna design something, I think he could have did something different, something that had like a little Phoenix Suns colorway or throwback Phoenix Suns colorway. Um, that would have been cool. To come out with an Air Force One like that or something like that. But you know, he may be a plain guy, and this is the type of shoe he came out with, man. But um, and the inside is a uh, Scott Pascal blue, Pascal blue all over the shoe. Everywhere in the shoe, you know, this is cool right here. The D book on um, tag here is pretty cool. The Nike swoosh on it, um, very good leather. This is not like um, regular cheap um, Air Force One leather, it's a little better quality than that. Um, I have read somewhere that the shoe goes for a hundred dollars, so it's not bad. Price point is not bad at all. It's just a um, a very like uh, to me, it's a dull shoe, like it's just one color and. That's it, man. It ain't much going on. It has a white, all white sole. Something I'm not a fan of at all. I don't like all white sole. They could have put this Pascal on the bottom of the sole and it would have made the shoe pop more. But, you know, teach his own. If he designed it, this is what he came up with. This is on him. More power to him, man. But, um, I know what time it is. It's time for me to rate this shoe. And out of five pennies, man, I'm going to have to give this shoe, man, two and a half out of five pennies because, for one, um, Air Force One is one of my favorite silhouettes. I feel like you could have done a lot more with this. I've done personally Air Force Ones that I made on Nike ID that's better than this. Like, they could have did more with this shoe and it would have came out a lot better. But I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of all white soul Air Force Ones. I feel like all white soul Air Force Ones have no character. It, it, it doesn't bring up that Air Force One feel. It doesn't bring up that uptown feel. It doesn't bring, it doesn't have that pop to it. And this is a plain Air Force One. I feel like if you guys are familiar with uh, the Beast Boy program that, that we have up here in New York, where you can go to um, 21 Mercer and make a shoe, they have blank shoes that's the same color of your soul. And that's what this shoe reminds me of. I just feel like he just went in there and made a, a, a pastel blue shoe, put great suede on them. It was like, yo, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here, whatever the case may be. So. Next time they decide to do something like this, he needs to do a better job. Nike needs to do a better job. And this shoe is getting two and a half out of five pennies. Might be the lowest rating I ever gave on this channel. But if you guys disagree, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, we're keeping it 100 and not a penny less. Peace.